Anji. So a very good afternoon to all of you, and uh, congratulations to all the bachas. And I think uh, we have some parents also between us today. So, सबसे पहले one round of applause for your parents who have been supporting you. Okay, और जोर से होना चाहिए. Parents के लिए it should be, you know, because they have been with you in, you know, thick and thin. And next round of applause should be for yourself because you know. It's definitely not an easy exam where you have reached and you proved your metal. So all of you have done exceedingly well. Now, uh, yes, I'm going to talk in general about Obzen Gaini as a branch, and then we can take one-on-one -on -one queries. We are all going to be there in the free zone. Um, how many of you want to take up Obzen Gaini? Okay, that's pretty okay. Right. So uh, some general questions. Is it a good branch? It's an excellent branch, evergreen branch. You never go out of work. You always have too much work to do. Okay, so um, can you do Absin Gaini anywhere in India? I mean, uh, once you are through the post graduation, can you practice anywhere? Yes, as long as you have good skills. ये एक ऐसी branch है जो आप कहीं पे भी practice कर सकते हो. In terms of your own private practice also, and being associated with a hospital as well, which could be you know uh, any private or corporate hospital right so that is one thing so it's easy to establish uh, you don't need a lot of things to start your own practice also what you definitely need is your clinical acumen and your skills yes now coming to some other things that we want to know uh, general things we have already covered ms yes preferred over dnb preferred over diploma Uh, but when I say that, as I think all the faculties have already mentioned, DNB कुछ कुछ जगहों पे बहुत अच्छी है. So that is why when you reach borderline ranks for MS, which we will talk about when we meet, uh, then there is a doubt. Should I leave this MS and go for DNB? Then I would say yes. If you're getting an MS degree somewhere very much in the periphery where you're not interested to go, where the workload is not there at all. And compares comparatively, you're getting a DNB at a place which is known for its workload or work or experience. Then yes, you can make that call. So it is a very personal decision at your rank. Okay. Uh, the second thing, when we are choosing a hospital, whether it is for MS or for DNB, what do we look for? So um, do we look for workload? Uh, do we look for number of surgeries people perform? and these are the two major things which so is primarily a surgical branch so yes any place which has a good workload is more likely to give you a uh, more clinical exposure as well so workload yes what about number of surgeries for example lot of times you will ask us to compare okay uh, compare harding to vmmc and let's say this to madras medical college or to bmc right so please understand always number of surgeries is not the right way of estimating whether the place is good or not okay at some places you may be getting a lot of cutting but nobody has taught you what is the good way of doing it i think dr sujay do you agree yes right so it's very essential ki khali number nahi ginna hai because a lot of girls come and tell me ma'am maine pata kiya is hospital mein to first year mein bas thode se hi cesarean dete hain right i think it is fair i have uh, done i've been a child of lady harding at the moment i entered my medical field i've been there and yes we used to get very less surgeries but every single surgery that we did from skin opening to closure matlab wo ekdam perfect hona chahiye to the extent that in the ward rounds mujhe do teen baar sirf isliye khincha gaya tha ki skin pe number of sutures were counted and they were more than what they were supposed to be फिर अगर दोबारा मेरा ही ऑपरेटेड कोई पर्सन दोबारा आ जाती है बिकॉज वी आर देर फॉर अ लॉन्ग स्पैन राइट आई वॉज इन हार्डिंग फॉर ऑलमोस्ट फोर्टीन ईयर्स राइट सो इफ इफ द फाइल निकलवाते हैं अगर आपने ही सजेरन किया है पहला तो दे लास्ट यू टू डू द रिपीट सजेरन एज वेल सो दैट इज सो यू नो आई थिंक नंबर इज नॉट द ओनली क्राइटेरिया सो यू हैव टू सी दैट द स्किल्स दैट यू एक्वायर आर गुड Yes, you need a good mix and match. I won't say कि बहुत कम से भी बात बनेगी. You need that exposure. What about uh, academics? So it's a surgical branch. Okay, uh, please forget about academics. I mean, they are not really interested. Yes, you will have your rounds. You will have your presentations. वो सब होगा जो होना चाहिए. 
मगर अगर आप सोचो कि कोई आपको कहेगा आओ आज विलियम्स का चैप्टर वन पढ़ें वो सिर्फ यहाँ डैम्स में होता है राइट वी दे आर नॉट गोइंग टू यू हैव टू रीड ऑन योर ओन इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड यू हैव सीन अ केस गो बैक रीड कम बैक देन इट डिपेंड्स ऑन हाउ द इंस्टीट्यूट इज फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन माई प्लेस इफ आई हैव एन ओवेरियन इन द मॉर्निंग टूडे कोई मास है सो अंटिल आई रीड द अनाटमी एंड आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट माई फर्स्ट ईयर ऑफ रेजिडेंसी अगर मैं उठी गई हूँ बिना अनाटमी पढ़े तो मुझे वो असिस्ट भी नहीं करने देते थे फिर मैं बाहर सिर्फ वायल पे लेबल लगाती थी राइट सो इंटरऑपरेटिवली दे विल आस्क मी वॉट वेसिल इज दिस वॉट इज इट क्रॉसिंग इसका ये बताओ यूरेटर का पाथ बता दो सो इट्स ओके यू डोंट हैव टू बी हंड्रेड परसेंट करेक्ट बट एटलीस्ट अ फेयर हैव अ फेयर अमाउंट ऑफ आइडिया विच मीन्स अकेडमिक्स इज समथिंग फ्रॉम नाउ ऑन यू विल हैव टू मैनेज ऑन योर ओन बट येस डैम्स डज हैव अ सोल्यूशन फॉर दैट ऑलमोस्ट ईच वन ऑफ आस हैज अ रेजिडेंट प्रोग्राम ना हो सो चिंता मत करो वील टेक केयर ऑफ वॉट यू नीड टू रीड फॉर एग्जाम्स हाउ यू नीड टू राइट वो सब है बट नॉट फ्रॉम योर कॉलेज ओके दे डोंट हैव द काइंड ऑफ टाइम बट येस टेक पार्ट इन प्रेजेंटेशन टेक पार्ट इन यू नो स्पेशली केस प्रेजेंटेशन मोर देन एनी थिंग एल्स राइट डोंट शाई आउट ऑन दैट सो दैट इज सेकेंड थिंग थर्ड uh what about uh, obs and gynae do we need specialization well i don't say it is super specialization i would say it is sub specialization okay you enter into a niche for example when i get a degree of ms obs and gynae i can practice as an obstetrician also i can practice as a gynecologist as well but then i decide okay i only want to do, go into lap so i have sub specialized i have created a niche whatever reasons uh देर कुड बी फॉर इट ओके इट मे बी कि मुझे आप स्टेट्रिक एमरजेंसीज नहीं करना है या आई एम मोर इंटरेस्टेड इन इलेक्ट्रिक सर्जरीज राइट सो देर आर ऑप्शन ऑफ सब स्पेशलाइजेशन बट इट इज नॉट मैंडेटरी जस्ट लाइक पीडियाट्रिक्स इट इज अ टर्मिनल ब्रांच एंड इट इज इनफ बाई इट सेल्फ इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डू यू कैन डू देर इज नो लिमिट हाउ मच पढ़ाई यू वॉन्ट टू डू यू कीप रीडिंग ऑल योर लाइफ बट इट इज नॉट मैंडेटरी लाइक इन अदर ब्रांचेज की एम सी एच करना है एम यू नो और सब सुपर स्पेशलाइज करना है then what about uh, obs and gynae as a branch for boys do we have any boys who want to opt or may consider opting i think it is a fantastic branch for boys okay in fact uh, but yes it has some cons which is the area that you have to select for example northern india the acceptance is less haryana punjab delhi to yahan pe agar aap obs and gynae loge to thoda mushkil hai Uh, but yes central india okay down south uh, calcutta or west bengal per se you have i mean mai har saal ye batati hu ki jitni bhi hamari major surgeries hain wo sabhi male gynae mein bhi male surgeons ke naam pe hain okay whether it is purandres or shredkars or whatever so yes uh, males have a very good scope in obs and gynae provided you just select a good area to do it from where the bias is not there a uh, lap is one place where males want to go because you know you want to even in the middle of your life you want to keep operating it's okay if you're whole day in the ot's so as far as physical requirement is concerned especially core agar aap bilkul surgical aspect pe chale jate ho so there's full full potential obstetrics yes could be a little concern we have less males in obstetrics but we have plenty 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 practicing gynecology urogynecology lap infertility so uh, lots of it so you just have to be selecting the place rightly and then sky is the limit you can absolutely practice obs and gynae as a male also right uh, what else uh, earning potential for all surgical branches the more time you give the more you operate the more you earn yes so uh, surgeons are always the boss uh, they run the hospitals okay you can ask ask for n amount of money for what you are doing why because you say nobody is better than me i am the best at this and this is what i am going to charge okay so surgeons uh, bade bade hospitals bhi jab unko naye banane hote hain uh, people will agree they will take the surgical departments with me with them to you know get the hold and hook on the patients सो so, uh, हमेशा इसलिए सर्जन का थोड़ा एटीट्यूड भी लगता है अब आप उस कुछ भी बोलो पीडियाट्रिशियंस uh, प्यारे होते हैं सर्जन गुस्से वाले होते हैं वॉट एवर इट इज द काइंड ऑफ और दैट यू नीड फॉर योर ब्रांच एंड यू मोल्ड इन टू दैट काइंड ऑफ एन इंडिविजुअल बिकॉज योर ब्रांच नीड्स दैट फ्रॉम यू ओके नो बडी वुड वॉन्ट अ सिसी सर्जन 
oh i can do but i am not sure will i will do okay or not everybody wants a surgeon who says i'll do it i'll do it best and mata ji aap thank you bol ke jaogi right so mata ji is very happy she wants to get operated with this person right so that is what you need as a branch so no stereotypes it's what your branch makes you into when you practice it for a long period of time yes um any other general doubts that you have because then we'll we'll take the cut offs and colleges and everything separately i won't let everyone hear that but uh, diploma okay dnb uh, at is at par but as sir said for government jobs yes there is still a hitch uh as compared to ms um diploma i would say uh, should be avoided kyunki ab dnb itna ho gaya hai ki diploma ka value bahut kam ho gaya in fact uh, most places mein diploma seats have been converted into dnb seats so diploma yes i would say you should think twice before you opt for it because you have to do a secondary dnb after it so it's two years plus two years give more exams as well which are both very very intensive um what about ms obzengaini from a private college is yes another doubt okay uh now that's that's a area which is uh, very difficult because i feel surgical branches private se tabhi karoge when you have asked someone there whether they have a good patient load or not nahi to at the end you will uh, have only a degree but no skills and believe me then you are very scared to even do a single surgery by yourself yes last question uh what about uh, obzen gaini from central institutes as compared to neat pg uh, i would say most of the central institutes have less cutting there is no doubt about that they also have less of general cases yes they will have some exceptional cases for you to see but general cases kam hote hain uh so surgical experience bhi kam hota hai but yes you have a brand name so you have to decide that if i opt for example sir said give i n i c t and let's say an option opens up that you're getting option guy in here also and you're getting it in let's say i n i c t as well then what do you do then you have to see so you have to go with a mindset that if you are doing it from central institute you would need a couple of years more to get hands on it could be doing s r ship in a different place right or in the same institute or try and get absorbed in the same institute yes if you are opting for central lastly bond mujhe lagta hai sir ne bola tha ki one year bond is okay two year i think is also okay for surgical branches i would say even three years is okay why there is a norm like in in delhi if we have done ms we would still do a three year of sr ship bombay doesn't go like that you do your ms and you are free to practice now right in any form and people will come to you but delhi no so uh, because the cutting is limited we all have spent 3 years doing a residency even after ms to gain the hands on so if you are getting an ms degree from a college where there is also a 3 year bond for obs and gynae i think it's okay if it has a good hands on teen saal aur laga ke get your skills so that once you move out you can stand alone and you can practice so i think those are common doubts any other anything else that you want to know anybody that yes all right so yes i do get that query a lot is it a hectic branch for sure it is because it has emergencies obs is just labor and it's always an emergency so yes it's hectic Ma'am, for how long it is going to stay hectic? Surely for first six years of your life, okay? Uh, three years, I would say, uh, is your MS. And if you are really serious about your branch and you would want hands-on, you will invest. I won't say it is work. I would say you would invest in acquiring skills, which is what is going to give you the liberty to earn or practice or do whatever later. After six years, yes, you can choose. right for example i decided on not doing core after a very long time after my ms right so you go into infot or you go into some other branches so but yes 6 years mehnat uh, thoda zyada hai kyunki surgical bhi hai toxicity <laughs> um so now uh, again each one of us is a different individual right we have different sensitivity levels we have been brought up in different ways 
uh, I would say um, I would say you call it toxic at times because the workload is a lot more. So you were expecting somebody would say, "Ja, bache pehle khana kha ke aaja." Uh, I mean, uh, ye jo bache wala part me leke aayi hu, ye sirf yahi pe obzan gaini me milega. Okay, you are not going to be anybody's bacha after that. If you are entering obzan gaini, you will see other people's bachas. So. Uh, Yes, we are not very accommodating because we are always short on hands and the workload is more. But I think the environment should be kind. Yes, uh, we should be more supportive of each other. That is in general a change we need to bring in. Yes, we need to be more considerate of our fellow colleagues. We need to be supportive and we need to ensure that everybody's physical and mental health is there. For that, I would say that when you go out, you are all colleagues. Look out for each other. Okay, there are times when you need someone to just talk to, and if you are in a lighter branch and your colleague is in a heavier branch, they may feel overwhelmed at times. Lend them a ear, see what the concerns are, direct them to the right people, open up, talk about it. I think that's how we start. And uh, as far as workload is concerned, yes, I said it is heavy. So you need. Uh, physical strength also you need mental strength also so i agree with dr sujoy he said ki agar aapko hometown mein bhi milta hai surgical branch so it's a good idea because even you know if if you are able to see your parents siblings family in a span of 15 20 days it's it, it's just it just feels good right it seems that you can take in much more so uh, that can be definitely kept as a criteria as well especially if you are from a metro city where the hospitals would give you good exposures right so that is about it and anything else no okay so then we'll take the one on one queries later